Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video we'll be performing a windows emulation on android test on a very low end android device this device has 4gb ram and a snapdragon 4 gen 2 processor and we'll be checking out if this low end android device is capable of emulating high end pc games but before getting started let me open cpu's head and show you guys the device specifications so right here you guys can see it has the snapdragon 4 gen 2 processor with 8 cores and adreno 619 gpu so that's the device specification and for today's video we'll be testing out WinLater, not the Mobox emulator. If this video reaches 150 likes, we'll try out the Horizon emulator as well. With that being said, let's start by setting up the WinLater Android. I'm using the version 6.1 of WinLater and we'll be using the latest Box 64 versions. Preset will be performance because we want the best amount of performance possible on a low-end Android device. Once that has been done, let's start off by creating a brand new container and I'll be showing you guys the best settings. These are special settings for low-end Android devices so if you have one then make sure to use these settings. In terms of turnip driver, make sure to use the 24.1.0. Afterwards make sure to use the DX wrapper as DXVK and customize it to enable the DXVK version 1.10.3. Other than that, you can keep the frame rate etc by default. Once that has been done, make sure to enable all processors in the processor affinity section. Make sure to enable show FPS as well. Once that has been done, video memory size will set it to 4 GB. Other than that, make sure to go to advanced and uh, the presets should be performance. Once we have created our container, make sure to also choose the pulse audio and yeah, let's tap on the tick mark option to create our container specifically for low end Android devices. We are using the 960 by 544p resolution to get the best experience possible. Let's start it up and I'll show you guys the games that we'll be testing out in our today's video. By the way, here's our today's Google Play Store gift card giveaway that I'm doing on my channel. If you want to win these gift cards as well, then be sure to watch the videos first. For that, don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications. It will take a good amount of time to start once you create a brand new container. So just be patient and there we go our windows emulator for android has successfully started let me just go and go back and toggle full screen let's go to the start section and make sure to go to wine configuration uh, we'll be setting the windows version as windows 10 for today's video as you guys can see it's by default windows 7 i'll select windows 10 tap on apply and then tap on ok make sure to also add the microsoft visual c plus plus and appropriate drivers before we start testing out games on our low-end android device now that everything has been set up let's start by testing out some games so i have loaded many games including gta vice city assassin's creed rogue just cause 2 pal world amazing spider-man 2 and we'll be testing all of these games one by one starting from the lowest of the low-end game which is going to be grand theft auto vice city now this is a classic pc game i'm not really sure why would you want to emulate this we'll be trying out this game as a starting benchmark because we already know gta vice city is a pretty low-end game very old PC game that can be ran on win later. Before we start testing big titles, we need to figure out if small titles work. And as you can see, GTA Vice City is working perfectly fine at straight up 30 FPS. And I'm pretty sure we can get more than 30 FPS, but VSync has been enabled, so the FPS is stuck from anywhere 29 to 30. Nonetheless, you'll be able to see there are some stuttering issues here and there, but it is working perfectly fine and you can definitely emulate small or old PC game titles. Even if you have a low-end Android device, you'll be easily able to emulate old titles like IGI, etc. Yeah, brings back a lot of memories. So definitely, GTA Vice City is a great benchmark for those games. Moving forward, we'll be testing out Just Cause 2. This is again one of those games which is not that low-end but not that high-end as well. Uh, Just Cause 2, again, very old game but not not as old as GTA Vice City. Now to start this game, you will need to change the DXVK or uh, DX wrapper version from 0.1.10.3 uh, to 0.96. If you also want to play old learned games, then make sure to change the DX wrapper version to 0.96 or else it won't work. You will get an loading screen issue or the game will freeze during the loading screen. Nonetheless, as you guys can see, the game has successfully started and this time uh, we have some drastic uh, difference in results compared to GTA Vice City. As Just Cause 2 is one of the more high-end PC game, you will be able to see the difference. We went from getting 30 FPS directly to getting 15 to 20 FPS and it is very practical result even though we are using a very low-end Android device. Now I know there are even more low-end Android devices if you consider old Android devices. Nonetheless, Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 is not that great in terms of performance and these phones can be bought for like 100 to 150 dollars so that's about it and still we are able to emulate Windows games on Android. I am pretty sure that 15 FPS is a very great 
performance or a playable result if you are uh, if you have an loan device and you really want to try out playing pc games on android but for high end titles as you move uh, towards the latest titles obviously the graphics quality will affect the gameplay performance and that's why the fps which we'll get will decrease but don't forget guys win later hasn't been updated in a very long time i think almost two months that's why it's behind in the latest turnip drivers and if we try out these same games inside the horizon windows emulator i am pretty sure that we will see a drastic difference because horizon is very optimized anyways the next game that we'll be testing out is going to be the marvel's amazing spider-man 2 on our android devices this is again a very high graphic a PC game which is more recent than Just Cause 2 and let's see how well does it perform on our Android devices. Now to be honest uh, the RTG controls do not work so you'll need to switch to uh, the virtual gamepad controls if you want to play this game on your Android devices or you'll need to configure all the controls manually. Nonetheless once the cutscene is over as you will be able to see the game actually starts and we are getting similar FPS to what we got with the Just Cause 2 game. Anywhere from 15 to 20 FPS which is once again a very playable results so if you have a mediatek processor android device just don't even consider windows emulation on android but if you have snapdragon 4 gen 2 processor or above or snapdragon 680 processor or above you can definitely use them to emulate some of your favorite old pc games on your android device so right here as you guys can see rts on screen touch controls do not work you will need to use the virtual gamepad or else you will face issues controlling the game or else you will need to directly map all the controls uh, or else once again you can use an external gamepad as well it is supported for win later android anyways that was amazing spider-man 2 i had issues uh, getting to know the controls so moving forward the next game is going to be assassin's creed rogue now once again we have upgraded to even greater game even though marvel uh, amazing spider-man 2 and assassin's creed rogue were released in the same year this is a bit more advanced high graphic pc game and that you will be able to notice from the amount of fps which we'll get anyways this game starts properly there are no crashing issues there is no black screen issues but the loading and cutscene takes a lot of time that's the main reason why i have fast forwarded everything but as you will be able to see there are not even a single graphical issue visible uh, during the entirety of the cutscene and there we go the game is actually about to start and immediately you will be able to see the difference in fps our uh, frame rate has been once again halved which means that we are getting half the fps which we were getting previously we went from getting 14 to 15 fps to 7 to 8 fps that's how drastic uh, result you will see if you uh, try emulating more advanced pc titles on your low-end android devices so i'll tell you guys the conclusion of this later on in this video by the way i also wanted to try out gta 5 but once again uh, this device does not have enough storage for that being the 4 gb ram variant uh, obviously you can't really add gta 5 in it but if this video reaches 250 likes i'll purchase an sd card up and add the gta 5 game inside the sd card and try it out on the win later or horizon emulator android and i'm pretty sure that it will also work uh, on this emulator because obviously we are emulating 2014 pc games so obviously a game released in 2013 will also work on our android devices i'm pretty sure of it and i think we might even get more fps than what we get in snapdragon 8 gen 3 because adreno 6 series gpus are more optimized anyways the next game that we'll be trying out is going to be the pal world the final game for today's testing pal world is the latest 2023 or 2024 title i forgot when it was released <laughs> nonetheless as you guys can see once you open pal world you will see it in task manager it will gradually increase the amount of memory which uh, uh, it consumes so once it has started you will see an black screen now i have tested out pal world multiple times on many windows emulators for android on my high-end android device and all the time it took a bit of time for loading but during this testing i waited for literally 10 to 15 minutes and the black screen would stay which means that newer games do not really work on low-end android devices that's just a fact i wasn't even able to see the loading screen and it is very obvious 2023 2024 games cannot be emulated on our low-end android devices even when i try out this game on my snapdragon 8 gen 3 android device i still get anywhere from 5 to 10 fps so there is no point in testing out new games pal world doesn't work on a low-end android device but i wanted to see if it would well if this video reaches 250 likes once again i'll test out gtfi i'll also test out god of war so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification and if you want me to test out more games then comment down below anyways that's going to be it for today's video i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out